we have one tree and the house is over there in the house there but i think they need a little bit more shade we're gonna go see these new birds we got the type of waterfowl i mean they're absolutely amazing nike if you guys are watching this right now talk to me okay look they're there well not them but my email see they follow me everywhere i go but let's go inside this enclosure so right here you guys is what i was telling you guys about this right here is a pair of albino All right, you guys, welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, what the goal is for today is that we are going to give these tortoises some more shade because it is very, very, very hot out here in South Florida. And we have one tree and the house is over there and the house there, but I think they need a little bit more shade because I have no plants over here because nothing will really survive because of the goats, the cow, and things of that sort. So that's what we're doing today. But you guys probably clicked on this video today to see the rare and exotic birds that we got here on the ranch. We're about to go see them in just a few minutes. But before we do that, it is overcast right now and it is the best time to work here on the ranch because when that sun is blurring down on here, it is you, you just wanna be in the house. You wanna be underneath shade because it's just so hot. So right now is the time to work. So I'm gonna dig a couple holes real quick so I can get this thing up, get the shade up. So there's some nice big shade spots right here. These nice shade cloths. So the tortoises have spots to just chill underneath when it's really, really hot out. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And then we're gonna go see these new birds we got. It's a type of waterfowl. I mean, they're absolutely amazing. It's actually a bird that is invasive here in South Florida, but this one is a different type of color. It's a morph. I mean, it's really, really cool. So just a few minutes, we'll go see those birds. Nike, if you guys are watching this right now, talk to me. I need some new uh, Nike slides. The best farm tool shoe out here. It's a big rock right here right now. Oh, good phone call. There we go. South Florida for you. Big rocks only. The limestone down here, you guys, is insane. Think like way, way, way from right back in the day, all here used to be underneath water. So it's just rocks everywhere. That's why I picked this spot for the African spur thighs, the Sakata tortoises, because they are known to be digging and they can't dig here, so they can't leave the enclosure, so it's perfect for them. But what I do is for nesting season, if you guys have been following me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch for a long time, I add dirt here for nesting season so they're able to dig and deposit their eggs inside the ground. And Captain right now is like pretty much in rut. He knows females are in heat over there, so he's just really, really annoying right now. This is Snickers' dad, by the way. So, made a hole. It's about a foot deep. Hopefully that holds. We'll see. And fill the dirt back up tie rope to here then add the other shade cloth to this corners over here you guys will see just in a few seconds and yeah let's do it Ooh. captain you're gonna help you're just gonna watch see Mackie slides work good Take the rocks out and put them back in. All right, cool. So we got one shade cloth up, that's perfect. So now when it's really, really hot, they have sun. We have one more shade cloth and put it over there in that corner. It'll be a nice two little spots of shade for these guys. Okay, we got another corner up right now. But where I tied that over there, as we both noticed, is not a good spot. So I'm gonna bring it more farther that way. So it overlaps this one and it'll be high enough and I'll have two nice shade spots, perfectly ready to go. We got the shade spots up. Definitely gonna have to get some concrete bags and put them here. Cause as you can see, the goats are just gonna mess with it. Everybody's gonna mess with it. But for right now, for about a day or two, it might hold. But 
I'm definitely gonna have to upgrade this. This is not. Thing is, I can't dig deep here. It's so solid rock that you didn't need a, really a machine or a jackhammer to break through this rock here. So once I leave, he'll leave, and then he won't mess with it as much. But um, enough talking here. This little area is pretty much done. Let's go see these new birds that we got. They're absolutely amazing. Um, the reason why I found them, the reason why I saw them was I was getting a corral, like a petting zoo corral. Because if you guys have not seen the last video I've spoken about, I'm going to be doing a meet and greet very soon. My own personal meet and greet in Miami Woodwood area. Just follow me on Blake Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram to get updated for that. Everybody that's been wanting to come here to the ranch, well now you're going to have the chance to meet a lot of the animals that you guys love in a location somewhere in Miami. And it will be updated and you guys will know the location the dates everything of that very very soon so the date is july 6 you guys that's when the meet and greet is going to be and then the location is going to be on a flyer very soon that's going to be posted on instagram so that's why follow me on blake exotic and ranch on instagram but um let's go see these birds so these are not the exotic birds i was telling you guys about but these are my emus right here and we have been letting them out of the enclosure and they've been exploring everywhere following us along and they're doing absolutely great look at these guys Echo, Charlie, Delta, and Blue. I mean, they're all doing great. Everyone's doing amazing. They just flap around, jump around, play. They're so funny. But they're getting to the point they're gonna start eating out of my hands without a problem, see? Look at that. If I had food in my hand, eating out of my hand. But uh, let's go see these other birds, you guys. All right, guys, so what you all have been waiting for to see here in today's video is the birds that are right here beside, beside me, behind me, on the side of me whatever you want okay they're in by the capybara area i'm not sure 100 where i want to put them yet i'm pretty much just getting them used to me just like what i do with all my animals at the beginning getting them used to me quarantining them uh making sure they're eating good all that stuff they came from very very far away there's a pair and it's a has a little young with it this species of bird is from africa area like egypt area um it is an invasive species here in florida and it's a very very loud type of animal type of bird it's very very protective type of bird as well do you guys know what type of bird i'm talking about it is brown normally and they're all over in south florida area so if you guys live in south florida you probably know what type of bird they are they just spread it everywhere just like the muscovy ducks but it's another type of bird it's a actually it's a goose it's a geese and um we have some right over here but this is something you probably have never seen before it's the same thing but a morph it's absolutely amazing they're a little shy but they're really not shy at the same time. They're actually kind of aggressive. And then let me just remind you guys one thing real quick. My water broke today, so I have not been able to do any waters here today here on the ranch. So the little pond, the turtle pond, and the thing that they're in is completely black. Because if you guys know what ducks do, they grab the mud and they put it into the water and they make everything black. And look, they're there. Well, not them, but my emus. See, they follow me everywhere I go. But let's go inside this enclosure. So it's quiet right now. As soon as we enter inside of here, they're going to get very, very loud because they're very noisy type of goose. But they're really, really cool. So let's go. See, there they start going. So enter inside of here. It looks like a freaking war has came out from here. But they're doing great. So right here, you guys, is what I was telling you guys about. This right here is a pair of albino Egyptian geese. The female is right here in the front and the male is right there in the back and then they have one little offspring that they kept with it from where it came from. She, I don't know if it's possible or not, but she looks a little bit more whiter and her eyes are black. So I think she might not be albino unless, it, I don't know, as of right now, where her pupil is, it is black and around her pupil, it is blue. So to me, that means that she is leucistic. What the parents, they look albino without a doubt. But um, look at this, you guys. We got a pair of albino geese here on the ranch. These are not the geese that we won on the 20,000 likes on that other video. Those are Sebastopol geese that we'll be getting as well. They're still just a little small. We'll be getting them very, very soon. So stay tuned for that video. Put those post notifications on. But these just came out of nowhere. It's a bird that I've seen before for sale. And I tried to purchase them. But somebody outbid me. There was, like, there was like an auction kind of deal. And they outbid me. And I wasn't able to purchase this pair. I found them somewhere else. And I asked the lady how much. And she told me a price. And I said sold before she even said the price. Because I wanted these birds very, very much. And they're absolutely amazing. They're going to get an enclosure. Probably by the African spur thighs over there. Where we were just at. Because they're from Africa. And they'll do well over there. They don't need a lot of water. They don't swim that much. Just a little small little water spot. So they can jump in and out without a problem. It'll be perfect for them. 
But um, season just has paths for these guys, so they probably won't lay because they have a baby to take care of. If I would have taken away the baby, which I would not want it to do, because then the baby would have been lonely, then they might have re-clutched one more time and lay another clutch of eggs. But because I don't want to do that and I just got them here, <laughs> the emus are looking at me. <laughs> They're so funny. I can't wait until they get to like six foot. So back to what I was saying. Next year, for sure, when it's season, they most likely will lay for me without a problem. And they'll lay a big group of eggs, and they will have a bunch of albino baby Egyptian geese here. We have the normal ones. They're brown. I have Dylan right now post a picture of a normal-looking one. But these are albinos, you guys. They're absolutely flawless and beautiful. They came from a farm from somewhere else, I'm sure, because they are already pinwings, and they're full-size adults. Obviously, they're really, really loud, but I don't care. They're so freaking cool, and... They're albino. Like, where have you ever seen an albino goose before? An albino geese. That's really... Wow. It's okay. Miss Huma bit my foot. But um, look at that, you guys. We got a pair of albino geese here on the ranch. And we will be moving them to another enclosure very, very soon. They're just here in quarantine getting ready and stuff like that. Obviously, the water has to be clean, like I just said. But the water guy is actually working on everything right now in the front with my mom getting all that prepared so then we're able to do all the waters today because that is urgent because obviously there's a lot of animals here on the ranch and a lot of things need to be get cleaned and re uh done with water and things of that sort but uh we got an albino pair of geese here on the ranch i mean that's absolutely amazing we got white emus albino geese i mean we got some crazy things here on this exotic ranch so stay tuned you guys put those post notifications on and i'm about to find a post notification right now because we have hundreds of people asking me for shout outs all the time and I'm gonna find one for you guys right now. For today's post notification shout out is going to Kiera. She says, honestly, I love and appreciate everything you do on this channel. I appreciate it, Kiera. So if you guys want the chance to get shouted out on Blake's Exotic Anim Ranch, put a positive comment down below you guys to get the chance to get shouted out, obviously. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give today's video a thumbs up. I know we could break this video over 10,000 likes without a problem. And by the time you guys probably watch this video, we're like a thousand subscribers away to 400,000 subscribers. I'm trying to figure out what we should do for 400,000 subscribers, you guys. It's absolutely insane. Our channel is growing absolutely rapidly, really, really fast. We gained almost 100,000 subscribers in about a month and a half. And we haven't even started what's inside that door, you guys. I mean, the amount of content we have to just to do inside of there and everywhere you see around me is absolutely insane. We have endless stuff for you guys to see every single day here on the ranch. Subscribe, you guys, and I will see you guys in the upcoming video. Peace out, everybody.